Hey guys, so welcome to my first tutorial. Um, been getting a lot of requests lately about doing tutorials and I figured why not and give you guys some tutorials and um, kind of show you guys some things of me working in Premiere and some of the different things I do. So, getting right into it, I'm gonna show you guys how to um, basically color your footage using Adobe SpeedGrade and using the different um, LUTs that I've created. Um, the LUT bundle package I have available, which you can find in the description of this video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you kind of li the little process of how I color my footage. Um, so let's get right into it. So right here I pulled up this video I shot for the cheaters called She Got Away. Um, and I have the whole timeline here, uncolored, um, the flat raw footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to file direct link to Adobe SpeedGrade and open this in Adobe SpeedGrade. All right, so we're in Adobe SpeedGrade here. Um, this is what I've been using to color my videos lately. And I'm gonna show you what I um, my process is. So here you can see the, the flat footage the raw footage um, uncolored and I'm gonna show you really quick how to a couple ways of going about this so the first thing you want to do is highlight your clip so I'm gonna click the clip highlight it and now if you wanted to you can personally just go in here with the primaries the shadows midtones highlights and just start coloring your footage add more contrast change the warmth um, add the contrast of the highlights, the saturation, and dial in a look you like. Um, or if you want to use my presets, my LUTs that I've created, how you apply a LUT, if you have any LUTs in general, or you bought my LUT package, or are looking to buy my LUT package, this is how you apply them. So you're gonna go into this little plus marker, click the LUT button, it's gonna apply just a generic preset LUT, um, so you're gonna come into this these three dots button and open up um, you know all your documents and wherever you have my LUT package or your LUTs um, that you maybe got elsewhere or whatever I you can see my LUT package is right here I'm gonna open it up and say I want to use LUT number three I'm gonna go into the LUT the LUT package and I'm gonna click the dot cube LUT I'm gonna open that and you can see it directly affect my footage there. So um, that is how you apply the, uh, the LUT. And then from there, you can go in and tweak things that you see necessary depending on your footage. So say the LUT, it's, it's cool and you like it, but you want your image more contrasty. Now this is where you come into your primaries and you, you mess with the overall, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. So if I want it more contrasty, I'm gonna come into the shadows a bit and I'm gonna I'm gonna boost the contrast. And if you see, I'll just dramatically drag it so you can guys kind of see. Now I'll go down into the negatives. You just see the flat, very washed out look versus the more high contrast look. So say I want something a little more contrasty, I'm gonna boost the contrast up to about 75. Maybe the overall contrast a little bit, highlights, etc. So once you've Let's just say for the sake of it, um, just boost the saturation just so you guys can see um, something super saturated. Um, maybe take the mid-tone saturation down, whatever. Whatever you guys find that you like, this is how you then dial in um, your look after you've applied the LUT. Now, say you really like the color you've created, whether it was with a LUT or just on your own. You can then save that look down here by hitting the save dot look button. It will then save that down here. And you can see it over here in the corner, the saved image. So now anytime in the future, if I'm coloring footage and I highlight a clip, I can just click on that look and it will directly apply that color. So as you can see, all these clips down here are colors I've done in the past and saved. Um, so I can just click on this right here and it'll directly apply that look that I did previously and saved. So there's another one. 
There's one. So these are all different looks that I've saved from the past. But now let's go back to, oh, I'll, we'll show you a couple more, black and white, JLP LUT number three, JLP LUT, which is the one that we use, um, but then I slightly tweaked and saved, um, JLP LUT, I think this is number one, um, and so on. So we'll come back over here to the one that I um, tweaked, and now say we like it. We're gonna save what we've been doing And then I'm going to open back up the Adobe Premiere timeline and project. Now I'm going to find that clip that I colored because I want that to be the, the overall color of my video. There it is. I'm going to highlight that clip. And as you can see in here, um, that's not supposed to be in there. There we go. There's a, a lumetri effect. So a easier way to do it in Premiere is just come into the effects tab, type in the Lumetri, you drag that on and you can just pick a LUT directly from there. But then you cannot dial in the look. Like in speed grade, you, you were able to change the different levels of the shadows, midtones, etc. If you come in here and you just directly apply the Lumetri effect and then pull up one of the LUTs, it's gonna apply that LUT, but then you can't go in and tweak all those um, little settings unless you're in speed grade so I just do everything through speed grade but we're gonna copy that clip since it has the lumetri effects attached to it and get rid of it now you can see the on and off the color we did versus the flat footage versus the final product now we're gonna take an adjustment layer come over here to this new item button adjustment layer I'm going to hit OK. It's going to select the adjustment layer for your timeline. You're going to place it here and you're going to drag it over your entire timeline. So now anything that you apply to this adjustment layer effect wise in the program will affect everything below it. So if I add sharpness to this adjustment layer, it will sharpen every clip below it. Same goes for any effect. So that's how I sharpen my footage too, just so everything is equal. So now we're going to copy or not copy, we're going to paste the attributes of that clip um, that we copied. Um, and now it will apply that Lumetri effect to this adjustment layer, which in turn affects every clip below it. So now you can see that color applied to the whole video. So there's a clip here I accidentally doubled up over here. Forgot to remove some color from a previous thing. But if get rid of it, there we go. So you can see the color now applied to all the footage. So that's a super easy way of coloring your footage. And what I do personally, because what it allows you to do is have the same overall look and color for your entire video and keep everything consistent. Then from there you can go in and adjust things if you know if you see fit. So for example, if I wanted to clip a little more contrasty as well, there's something from previous thing I was just messing with. Um, so say for this clip, you know, I decided, hey, you know what, I wanted a little more contrasty. I can come into the effects tab. Um, I can mess with the levels or the, the contrast effect, place that on that clip individually, and then mess with the, the contrast or the levels, how I see fit. Like, okay, maybe I, I want this clip a lot darker for some reason, then boom, I affect that clip. And now you're not affecting the whole timeline. But that way your color stays overall consistent. So when coloring my video, I find the generic color that I want for the video, apply it Apply, apply that color and LUT to an adjustment layer in the timeline, then go in and tweak individual clips as I see you know, that they're needed. Then from there, once everything's colored, I'll add whatever little effects that I want to, um, but then I'll apply the sharpen effect. Um, say we'll boost the sharpen to like, a, say a 30. And so now every 
every clip below that is affected with the 30% sharpness. So now all your clips are sharpened evenly and you're not having to painstakingly go in clip by clip sharpening them. Um, so yeah, that's how I color my footage and use the LUT bundles and create the different looks for um, my videos in color. And in the future, I'll be creating a lot more specified and specific looks for certain videos and saving those and exporting them out as different LUTs for you guys so you can begin coloring your footage or your videos like the same way that I color certain videos. So if there's a specific color on a futuristic video that looks really good and you guys loved, I will export that LUT and be creating bundles and packages um, like that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, go grab my LUT package um, and start coloring better today. And uh, appreciate you guys. Hope this helped.